We have the following objectives for today's lesson. Illustrate combination of objects. Derive the formula for finding the number of n objects taken R at a time. And solve problems involving combinations. Now let's start. Provided that we need to draw two colored marbles from a bowl with five marbles of different colors. Red, yellow, blue, violet, green. How many ways can two marbles be chosen? Let us list down the possibilities. With this illustration, there are 20 possible ways. And we learned that this kind of selection is called permutation. The number of the said permutation is denoted by P, or permutation of 5, taken 2 at a time. But noticeably, this kind of selection is not distinct, since some of the pairs were repeated. For example, red-yellow is the same as yellow-red. If we will try to eliminate similar selections, then we have, then we will have the following selection. There will only be 10 different possible ways. And this kind of selection is called combination. It is the number of ways of selecting from a set where the order of the selection does not matter. Let us deal with this problem. Six officers of an organization would like to form three member committees for effective management of its affairs. How many ways are possible? In here, the membership in a committee need not to be in order. The committee composed of president, vice president, and secretary is the same as the one composed of President, Secretary, and Treasurer. Our interest here is to find how many subsets of three officers can be formed from the set of officers. And we call that subset a combination of six officers taken three at a time. The total number of a combination is denoted by this symbol. For us to be able to find the number of combinations of six objects taken three at a time, we make use of the formula permutation, permutation of n taken r at a time, and the multiplication principle. And to find the number of permutations of six objects taken three at a time, then we will have to use the formula permutation of six objects taken three at a time, and the number of ways in which the three objects can be arranged, or the three factorial. So, we will be using two operations. The first operation is to select a subset of three objects or officers. So, we have here combination of six taken three at a time. And the second operation is to arrange the subset in a given order, and that is 3 factorial. The combined operations of the, the first operation followed by the second operation produces a permutation of 6 objects taken 3 at a time, and thus it will give us permutation of 6 taken 3 at a time is equal to the combination of 6 taken 3 at a time times the 3 factorial. So for us to be able to find the combination of 6 taken 3 at a time, so here, we replace the permutation of 6 taken 3 at a time by this equation, or the 6 factorial over the factorial of 6 minus 3. And then we solve for the combination of 6 taken 3 at a time. So we will be following the following step. So, in here, we have substituted the permutation of 6 taken 3 at a time into this equation. So, we notice that permutation of 6 taken 3 at a time was substituted by the 6 factorial over the factorial of 6 
over the factorial of the quantity 6 minus 3. And then, since we are solving for the combination of 6 taken at 3, we then have the combination of 6 taken 3 at a time equals 6 factorial over 3 factorial times the factorial of the quantity 6 minus 3. And then we simplify. 6 factorial is 720. The factorial of 3 is 6. And 6 minus 3 factorial is 3 factorial, which is also 6. And then we multiply the denominator, which is 36. So we have 720 divided by 36. Therefore, the combination of 6 objects taken 3 at a time is 20. So the solution to our problem, the organization can make 20 different committees. So from the previous slides, we can now derive the formula for finding the number of n objects taken r at a time. And that is by using the permutation of n taken r at a time equals the combination of n taken r at a time times the r factorial. So from here, we can see that the combination of n objects taken r at a time is equal to the permutation of n objects taken r at a time divided by the r factorial. So from there, we will just substitute the, the permutation of n objects taken r at a time into n factorial over the factorial of the quantity n minus r. And so, we will have this one. So, the permutation of n objects taken r at a time will be replaced then by this expression or n factorial over the factorial of n minus r. So, there we have. And then, so, we can say now that the, by simplifying, we have the combination of n objects taken r at a time is equal to n factorial over r factorial times the factorial of the quantity n minus r. Let us deal with our first example. There are eight books on a shelf. In how many ways can you select four books? So for our solution, we have n, which is 8. Since we are selecting from eight books on a shelf, and r is equal to 4, since we are going to select 4 books from the 8 books. So we will be using the formula for the combination, which is combination of n objects taken r at a time is equal to n factorial over r factorial times the factorial of the quantity n minus r. We will just substitute the values of n, n and r into this formula. And so we have 8 factorial over 4 factorial times the factorial of 8 minus 4. So we will work out on the parenthesis first, which is 8 minus 4. That's why we have the denominator or factorial. So um, we will try to eliminate by cancellation one of the 4 factorial on the denominator. So we have this one. So we will be canceling then the 4 factorial and then 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 and that is 1640 and then the factorial of 4 which is 30, 24 and then we divide 1680 divided by 24. So the combination of 8 objects taken 4 at a time is equal to 70. So we have 70 ways of selecting the four books from the eight books on the shelf. Let us deal with example number two. In how many ways can a committee of six members be formed from ten people? So for the solution, the value of n is ten and r is six. We will just substitute the value of n and r into this formula. So we have ten factorial over six factorial times the factorial of the quantity 10 minus 6. So 10 minus 6 first, it will give us 4 factorial. That's why we have 10 factorial over 6 factorial times 4 factorial. 
So we will be canceling here the 6 factorial. So we have the following process. So for the 10 factorial, we can express that using 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 factorial so that we can cancel the 6 factorial. Okay? And that is 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 is 5040 divided by the 4 factorial which is 24. So the combination of 10 objects taken 6 at a time is 210. So it means that we have 210 ways of selecting the 6 members from the 10 people. Let us deal with example number 3. In a class of 25 students, there are 10 boys and 15 girls. How many ways can a committee of 3 boys and 2 girls be formed? So for the solution, we have to take note that 3 boys can be selected in 10 or a combination of 10 taken at 3 ways. While the 2 girls can be selected in combination of 15 taken 2 at a time ways. So the number of committees can be obtained by multiplying the combination of 10 taken 3 at a time times the combination of 15 taken 2 at a time. So we need to evaluate the 10, uh, combination of 10 taken 3 at a time and the combination of 15 taken 2 at a time. So we have the following process. So in here, so it will be easy if we will going to we are going to cancel 7 factorial on, on this expression while for the 15 factorial divided by 2 factorial times 13 factorial it will be easy if we are going to cancel the 13 factorial So from this process we have 10 times 9 times 8 divided by the 3 factorial times 15 times 14 Divided by the 2 factorial. So we have 720 divided by 6 and 210 divided by 2. 720 divided by 6 will give us 120, while 210 divided by 2 will give us 105. And then we multiply them. So we have 12,600 12, ways in which we can select the committee of 3 boys and two girls. For example, number four, in a box, there are 20 colored balls. Eight are red, five are white, and seven are blue. How many ways can three red, one white, and two blue balls be chosen? So for the solution, we can select three of the 8 red balls by using the combination of 8 taken 3 at a time. While we can select 1 of the 5 white balls using combination of 5 taken 1 at a time. And we can select 2 of the 7 blue balls by using the combination of 7 taken 2 at a time. So we can obtain the number of ways by multiplying the combination of 8 taken 3 at a time by the combination of 5 taken 1 at a time and by combination of 7 taken 2 at a time. So we need to evaluate one by one what is the combination of 8 taken 3 at a time and that is 56 and the combination of 5 taken 1 at a time is 5 and the combination of 7 taken 2 at a time is 21. And then we multiply them, so it will give us 5,880 ways. For example, number 5, how many polygons can be possibly formed from 6 distinct points on a plane, with no 3 of which are collinear? So, for the solution, we have the following number of vertices. The polygons may have 3 4, 5, and 6 number of vertices. And these polygons are triangle, quadrilateral, pentagon, and hexagon. So, therefore, the number of possible polygons can be obtained by 
combination of 6 taken 3 at a time, plus the combination of 6 taken 4 at a time, plus the combination of 6 taken 5 at a time, plus the combination of 6 taken 6 at a time. So the combination of 6 taken 3 at a time is 20, while the combination of 6 taken 4 at a time is 15, combination of 6 taken 5 at a time is 6, and the combination of 6 taken 6 at a time is 1. And then we just add them together. So we have 42 ways of forming the polygons. So we have 42 polygons that can possibly that can be possibly formed from six distinct points on a plane with none three of which are collinear. Try doing this on your own. Until our next session, thank you and enjoy learning.